There's a rumbling around Sydney as the Fujitsu V8 Supercar Series stops by today for round five of the 2007 Championship. For the full field keen to show their wares in the build-up to the biggest event of the year at Bathurst. Welcome to our coverage, Aaron Noonan with you, joined by V8 Supercar Series points leader Garth Tander at Oran Park Raceway, a track Garth that rewards fast drivers. Rewards speed, bravery and commitment. It's all about commitment at Oran Park. 2.6 kilometre circuit, the Grand Prix layout here at Oran Park. 11 turns in total, there's some good passing opportunities. Plenty of passing opportunities at Oran Park. Into two if you're quick through the kink at turn one. Deep under brakes, turn three. If you're really commitment, turn eight at Sutton's or into the final corner at turn 11, but don't scrape the wall on the exit. Three races as normal this weekend. We'll be on board with Grand Denya. The Just Cuts on board in the Ford Rising Stars Falcon. Andrew Thompson, the pole man this weekend. He's third this year in the Latitude Development's Howard Racing Falcon with Dick Johnson Racing Power this year. And the third of our in-car cameras, the Opus Prime Commodore. Marcus Zakanovic, last year's V8 Utes champ, lining up to try to improve in the championship. He's just outside the top 10 coming into this round this weekend. Damien Assailant makes the move for this round. He steps out of the AU Falcon into a BA. He's just 17 years of age, the youngest V8 supercar driver in 2007. And Dale Wood should have confidence coming to this round. His Greg Murphy Racing Commodore has been very fast here in years previous with Jason Richards and Tasman Motorsport. And Shannon O'Brien, always one to watch here this weekend. He qualified second at Oran Park last year in the Exmark Larkin Motorsport Falcon. And back this weekend too, Owen Kelly in a former Brad Jones Racing Falcon, driving for Terry Wyhoon's Image Racing Team after they had an unfortunate circumstance at Queensland Raceway. Let's check the highlights of race one. And Tony Delberto Garth started sixth on the grid, but led by the second corner. Fantastic start by Tony Delberto as we see a replay of an incident at turn three. Chris Alajage and up the inside, but unfortunately the pack stopped and he kept going. He was docked 10 championship points for that contact with Owen Kelly that sent the Sofuri Falcon into the pits. And you can hear Terry Wyhoon there saying, it's not our oil. Scott Loadsman launched the Tintacar Commodore at turn four, and it was getting really busy in the mid-pack. Certainly was. A lot of oil went down through the, throughout this race, and I, it came from the Loadsman car after he launched the car, and I'd say it ripped an oil cooler off the front, and uh, actually Scott went off on his own oil there and into the tyre barrier at Sutton's. Ashley Cooper also went off, more than likely as a result of some of that oil. And we mentioned earlier, don't scrape the wall on the exit of turn 11, but plenty of examples of that there. Adam Sharp, the Englishman, fresh back from a run in the Brit Car Series in the UK, had a fire in the 32 car, brought that car into the pits. It was a retirement as Howard Racing went to work to solve that problem. There was a, a blown oil hose that, that caused the fire there. And then a problem for Grant Denyer. He had a punctured tyre that sent him out had a tyre rubbing on it, or a guard rubbing on a tyre, and uh, sent him out with a few laps to go, which is a shame for Grant, running very strong until then. But Tony Delberto, the championship leader, led home Dale Wood, Andrew Thompson and Jonathan Webb completing the top four in race one. Zukanovic, Yulden, Kane Scott Strong and Shannon O'Brien rounded out the ten, but it was a case of what could have been for Grant Denyer. After his worst ever qualifying of 18th, he jumped ten places to eighth in the first lap, and then this. The temperature can really fall out of the tyre when you're behind a safety car, so I was weaving and I perhaps ran over some debris at that particular point and it leaked for three laps and I started slipping back in the field and then it, it blew when it had absolutely no air left in it down the straight. So I was a little hairy. I've seen tyres blow before and all the visions of Bathurst and Thomas Mazira and people rolling all the time. I was going, I don't know what's going to happen. I've never done this before, but we survived. There's a returning face in the Fujitsu series at Oran Park this weekend. Owen Kelly back behind the wheel of a Falcon before he joins Ford Performance Racing for Sandown at Bathurst. This is a car that's had some running, a, a Brad Jones Racing Falcon that Jason Bright ran earlier this year. That's right, it's uh, the chassis that uh, Brighty was using and uh, I think he, he had his own running gear in it and uh, these guys have bought, bought the car for Brad as a, as a complete rolling car, you know, engine, everything, so, um, so it's effectively you know, a full Brad Jones racing spec car and uh, so it should be pretty good. 
How important is this for you just to have at least one race before you get to Sandown in September and then the big one in October at Bathurst? It's, uh, it is important. It's just good to get some race miles. I've been getting plenty of miles testing, but um, just get some uh, some racing miles around some other cars and you know, just get back in the groove. And uh, when I'm with FPR at Sandown, which, which I'm really looking forward to, and um, so we're just trying to do everything we can to make sure I'm sharp. You've been doing a bit of racing in America before you've come back to Australia. Just tell us about the category you've been in and, and why you did that. They're effectively NASCARs. Um, they're, they're built as their own their own beast, but they're a little bit lighter, a little bit less power than a NASCAR, and, and on little quarter mile bull rings, little high bank ovals. And uh, the reason was, uh, you know, I've, I've always had a huge interest in it, and um, Mark Sambro's helped me out there to hook me up a deal and. Uh, went over and um, did four races and I'm trying to uh, put together something to go back and do some more and see what we can do. Is there going to be any more Fujitsu series driving for you, for you this year? Will we see you in this car at Bathurst as well? Uh, I'm not really sure. Probably not Bathurst, um, but who knows. We'll see how this weekend goes. Um, maybe Phillip Island after, uh, you know, towards the end of the year, the last round. But um, Bathurst will probably concentrate on what we're doing with FPR. Race two for the Fujitsu series is an inverted top ten. So the Kiwi, Chris Pitha, finds himself on pole position. I'm pretty excited about it. I enjoy the enjoy the rain, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and having a good run. You haven't had much experience on, on wet tyres though, have you? No, I haven't. I've done one practice session and um, actually made a bit of a mistake at, at Winton and end up in the wet race with slick tyres. So that, that was alright, so I'm looking forward to see what they go like with a decent set on. Stick around after the break. Let's see how the Kiwi kid goes with race two.